Hey guys, this is Zion7 LEGO Maniac. Be sure to check out my other social media accounts and my Patreon. Links are down below. I don't care that this is super late. This was a figure that I wanted to make an updated version for a very long time now, but I never had a chance to do it. This is my updated Captain America based on his appearance in Captain America Civil War. It was hard to choose which Captain America I wanted to make, but I went with this because it's simple enough for me to finish in a short amount of time. The helmet is a modified Sub-Ultron officer helmet. I actually took, just took my old Captain America helmet from my previous figure and I just modified it more. I used a file to sand off the sides and I used a round file to make the ear holes. The hardest part to modify has to be the front section. I tried cutting away additional pieces around the nose and sculpted the tiny triangles around his face. I then took a triangular file and sanded the nose bridge section and gave more additional details for the helmet. The straps is actually made with fabric and I glued it onto the helmet. Other additional sculpt bits are the A on the front and the back section of the helmet. His head is a modified Captain America head with my own mouth design. The torso is all covered with black and white E-tape. The black section I painted with dark blue, while the white E-tape I left it the way it is and I just painted gray details and red stripes, which are also additional layers of E-tape. I sculpted the star because I don't think anyone else has done it so far, at least not that I know of. Many people, including myself, have used like Lego's torso back then, but I don't see a lot of people trying to make their own torso, especially the one covered with E.T., so I hope this figure will inspire more people to potentially make their own interpretation. The straps and buckles are all made with fabric and procreate. His arms are all painted and I sculpted the elbow pads and glove tops for the wrist. The wrists play a very special playability feature which I will get to later. His back continues the same E.T. layering and fabric and procreate straps and for the shield holster. His belt uses the same standard E Team Procreate combo, and the pouches on the belt and the legs are actually from leftover dry Procreate I had laying around. I thought my cap looked a little bland, so I painted dark gray dots all over the figures to represent the stitchings on the suit. However, my friends pointed out that it looked a bit too distracting, so I toned it down and I got rid of it in most places, and it definitely looks a lot better now. Here is the moment you've been waiting for the shield. I was inspired by Josiah's magnet technique on his Master Chief, so I decided to do the same thing for my Captain America. I hid one magnet behind the torso and another sculpted around the shield so this way, his shield can be stored on his back just like in the films. Side note, how does his shield actually work? That holster doesn't look like it has any clips or any hooks, so how does he attach his shield? I don't know, I don't get, why, I don't get how they did it and it's confusing. Now how does the shield attach to his wrist if the shield doesn't have any clip or straps? Uh, well, I cut a tiny piece of a thin metal wire and I gently pressed it onto the wrist sculpt as it was drying. Since the wires are magnetic, this enables Cap to hold the shield kinda like what he did in Age of Ultron. For some reason, the magnetism is very weak on his right wrist, which doesn't bug me as much since he mostly has it on his left wrist anyway. Thanks to my buddy Alex aka Swagmaster Productions for making this possible since he was the one who provided the magnets for me. If you guys want these magnets, I believe they're on eBay and they're pretty cheap too. That's all I have for today, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of this figure down in the comment section below. I do have other MCU figures I want to make such as the updated version of Quicksilver now that he's 6 feet underground. I'll probably just save those figures for Infinity War but I'm not that patient. I would love to make more Captain America figures with this same technique, such as his World War II suit, which is my personal favorite suit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.